solar winds of hot plasma are continuing to whip past the Earth after scientists issued a geomagnetic storm prediction warning over the weekend. The storm has gained much attention over the past weeks or so, and while it does have the potential to cause some disruption, but this solar event is not actually significantly strong once compared to some documented cases. For sure, I'm talking about the Carrington event. It's believed to have been the most instance of its kind in recorded history. To learn about what a really significant solar storm can do, look no further than the Carrington event of 1859. On September 1, 1859, Carrington was peering at the sun through a telescope fitted with a protective dark filters. Suddenly, he saw a flash of white light from a sunspot. Within a day, strange things started to happen all over the world. The night sky was suddenly lit up with the brilliant colors and the dancing lights appeared in the northern hemisphere as far south as Panama in Central America. They were so bright that people were reportedly able to read newspapers by the light of the auroras alone, according to the NOAA. According to the eyewitnesses, around 11 p.m., it began to assume the appearance of day breaking, and in an hour, it was almost as light as day. The star, which before shined brightly, being invisible. At 1 o'clock, the light began to fade, and in an hour, the heavens had assumed their usual appearance, and the star shine out bright as ever. Elsewhere, the event was causing issues with communications. Telegraph operators were being left with lines that were suddenly useless for around 12 hours. Conversely, some people reported being able to talk with one to another via telegraph even though batteries were not connected to the wires. People began to link the communication failures with the auroras. We now know this link existed. The Carrington event was caused by a massive solar storm and one that would cause widespread disruption today. Considering the fact that our reliance on electronic devices has grown even further. According to the NOAA, a solar storm on the scale of Carrington event today could severely damage satellites, disable communications via telephone, radio, and TV, and cause electrical blackouts. It's thought such an event could occur once every 500 years or so. Today, scientists operate satellites such as GO-16 that have instruments capable of monitoring space weathers and the sun in the hope that we can detect an incoming solar storm before it hits and prepare accordingly. So what we do to prepare? It starts with the early detection ground-based and space-based observations of the sun and of the particles traveling from the sun to earth that would ideally mean a network of heliophysics observatories on earth at the L1 Lagrange point in space and in close proximity to the sun itself. We should prepare power grids for shutdown and disconnection that take fewer than 14 hours to execute and increase grounding at stations and substations. We should create mandatory safe mode orbits for satellites so that electronic disruptions won't be catastrophic and create emergency plans for citizens in the event that a Carrington level flare occurs and heads towards Earth. In a very real sense, the danger is definitely coming. It's only a question of when. If we do nothing to prepare, when the big one hits, we can look forward to trillions of dollars worth of infrastructure damage and quite possibly an enormous number of deaths. But if we can prepare our power grid, distribution system and global citizens to be ready for the inevitable, we truly have the capacity to effectively survive even a Carrington-type event. We just need to make the effort and the investment in the prevention, otherwise we will be paying for it many times over, for years or even decades to come. So I hope you care about this Carrington event. Well, if you have any query about this, let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, so feel free and subscribe our channel for more updates of the universe. And one more thing, thank you so much for watching.